Yo guys, Overload here. Welcome to today's video. Today, I've actually got a really long commentary for you guys because I'm actually going to be speaking over a 113 gun streak. 100. Oh, it's not even 113. Wow. Did I just make a mistake? It's not really good when you make a mistake at the very start of a commentary. I'm actually going to do this commentary unedited, completely raw, just to show you guys that commentators do make mistakes every now and again. However, they actually do very cleverly edit commentaries really really well they edit stuff out of the video uh, and the commentary so therefore you know every time we make a mistake you never ever get to hear it at all because we literally just go oh there's the mistake notice that highlight that bit delete and then move on um and i'm going to talk a little bit about that in this video right now um but anyway guys as i was saying uh this 117 gun streak it's playing capture the flag on the map Comeback, yes, on the map comeback by Razor Tasty. Oh, oh God, it's an insane gameplay. 117 gun streak. I don't know how you can go on for that long. I mean, I've got gameplays and I've got gun streaks and stuff, but I never ever got 117. I think that's very, very close to the world record. However, it isn't Capture the Flag. Capture the Flag is a very, very long game mode. And, you know, um, I think you get around about 15 minutes for it. But Tasty managed to get this gun streak. Uh, when it's cut down, it's around about seven minutes. So that's really cool. So, so congrats to him. I'm going to talk to you guys for a little bit of time now about some stuff, or some more stuff, yes. Today, I'm going to be doing another episode of Let's Talk About, and we're going to be talking about Impact Nation. However, before that, I'm going to talk about this commentary because, as I said just before, I'm doing this unedited. So when I make a mistake, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to... Sorry, I got distracted then. See, exactly. Um, a lot of the time, commentators get distracted by very simple things. If you're talking and you're talking on a little bit of a roll and stuff like that, and something happens around you, you kind of like stray and look at it. And then when you look at it, you kind of lose your train of thought and what you're speaking about. So therefore, you kind of slow down. And that's what we edit out in the commentaries and stuff. Every time somebody says, um, or, you know, stops for a second, there's that little three second pause. Basically, what happens is we just go and find that three second pause or find that erm because they're kind of distinct on the commentaries. And a big, a big long erm is a really like fat piece of loud like sound because when I look at it on Audacity, it's got like a really big thick piece of sound. And that's the part where I say erm. And then it's really easy to edit out. You just highlight it, delete it, obviously. And of course, the long periods of silence are really easy to edit too. And the, obviously, of course, in commentaries, we do other stuff like. Uh, for example, voice cracks and stuff, that they're deleted and re-edited. Um, if you make a big mistake, then that's taken out. If I make a huge mistake, I'll like sit there and I'll make the mistake and I'll stop for like three seconds. So I know that's where the mistake is at. And I'll just start that whole section again and re-say it. And then I'll delete the section and add in the new section, for example. And that can be quite a pain in the arse after a while. If you make a really good commentary and you just make a tiny mistake right at the end, it's kind of annoying because you have to just edit it a little bit. Um, but it takes quite a while to edit because you have to get it really right, otherwise it sounds like you cut it really easy and it sounds like you've just jumped from saying stuff and it doesn't sound very realistic at all. You want it to sound as smooth and as nice and as straightforward as possible. And we do other stuff like effects, so we put in stuff like bass and treble, we put compression in and we also put noise removal. That's kind of a big thing, noise removal, because it really does help your voice sound lots clearer and lots helpful. Obviously, I have a HD microphone, I have my Blue Snowball and it's really cool, I love using it and obviously that's really good. So yeah, this commentary is completely raw. I'm not going to edit it at all whatsoever. So you guys get to see exactly what I do. And I got another text then and I looked and it almost lost my train of thought, but I got right back into it. So let's talk about Impact Nation then. Impact Nation, I own Impact Nation. I'm one of the leaders and owners of Impact. I never was. I got recruited by Impact Nation three months ago now. They messaged me after I quit YouTube saying, hey, do you fancy joining? And I thought... Yeah, might as well give it a go, eh? Might as well just go and join them. So I joined Impact Nation. They were at 3,500 subscribers. And then our channel got suspended and we weren't able to log into it anymore. So we posted a quick... There's only one guy who actually... He managed to stay logged into the channel. So he managed to post one last video saying, Hey guys, we're moving over to a new channel. We created a whole fresh new channel from scratch. And just over three months ago now, we managed to hit just 713 subscribers, which was absolutely insane. Uh, it's really cool that we managed to hit that many subs after just like three months. Uh, we're on that road to 1k. We're so close now. Guys, if you want to go and subscribe to Impact Nation, their link will always be down in the description below. Please make sure you come and check them out because they're actually a really good team. And also Team Razor. Team Razor's links will be there too. 
guys impact nation i joined them obviously as a uh, commentator i joined them as head commentator because they didn't have any commentators when i joined that was pretty surprising i didn't expect that at all they had no commentators whatsoever and i was like are you sure you don't have any commentators and they're like yeah we don't have anyone to speak of or anything we've got these really good gameplays no one to say anything and i joined them just as advanced warfare came out and um that was good it was really good fun and then in december obviously we started the new channel and now we're going really really strong it's going so well yeah it's going really really cool and um we're getting loads of subscribers we upload daily we upload advanced warfare content uh, we upload obviously we do throwback mondays where we upload the modern warfare three mondays and we do throwback thursdays where we do treyarch gameplay so it's called treyarch thursdays and we're really enjoying it i'm really really enjoying it they did eventually promote me to co-leader which is really cool i really uh, enjoyed my time being co-leader then i ended up doing so much for the channel and i ended up doing so many uh like you know uploads and helping schedule helping make new series uh recruiting people and stuff like that that they ended up saying hey do you want to be leader and i was really really pleased with that because i really do like leading um i enjoy leading at this team and it's fantastic i i'm so proud of the team and the way they are and how many subscribers they're on and it's just insane it's really really I can understand why Razor Beast loves leading Razor because it's so proud when you sit back and say, hey, look, I own a team that have this many subscribers and upload this content and we are really, really good. Um, Martin must feel so proud of himself, like looking back and sitting there and saying, look, I own a team with 17,000 subscribers and they're actually really good. And I get to, I'm almost there. We're, we're on that grind to get as many subscribers as possibly can. So I can actually sit back and say, hey, look, we just reach 1k that's absolutely amazing so we can actually carry on and go on and get that 10k which were which would be really really nice so we're so close to that 1000 subscribers now we're just only 200 off or 300 of us it's around about 200 300 off which is uh getting really really close and this video is actually coming towards an end now let me check what we're on we're on six minutes 44 seconds so we're getting there we're getting there seven minutes 10 is the commentary so i'm actually going to wrap this up now uh impact nation please make sure you come and subscribe to us we're actually a really good team um so guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background it's obviously a really cool gameplay um make sure you stay subscribed for more content my name is overload guys and i hope to speak to you all in the next video peace